You're about to hear the biggest lie ever told that will impact you as a human being. Obama wants to make me a slave. Chris Carney went along with the biggest lie ever told, and here it is. Is, is that if we make it affordable, if we provide subsidies who, to those who can't afford it, they will buy it. Uh, uh, Senator Clinton has a different approach. She believes that we have to uh, force people who don't have health insurance to buy it. The you heard it. You heard it right here. He is a liar. Obama is a liar, and that's how he got elected. And Chris Carney supported that lie. This is a letter to the editor that I recently wrote regarding, really, to any congressman who voted for this mandatory health insurance bill, which forces people to buy health insurance, regardless of their strategy on trying to stay uh, stay healthy and uh, have destiny over the control of their lives. Um, I think that any congressman who voted for this thing is a real hypocrite that they have. uh... Anyhow, here's the letter. Dear Editor, Congressman Paul Jankorski and Chris Carney have voted to take away our constitutional rights. They have crossed a very critical line and have said that the U.S. government can force you to buy a product. From now on, there is nothing the U.S. government cannot do as long as they feel it is for the overall well-being of its citizens. They are telling me that I can't spend as much money on healthy food and vitamins because I must buy health insurance or get fined. Worst of all, they have rewarded a liar. During the primary, Obama lied to all Democrats when he said he was against mandatory health insurance. Do you hear that, Hillary? He told that the same lie during the presidential election to all Americans. And Kanjorski and Carney have rewarded that liar and broken their vows to protect and defend the U.S. Constitution. I hope and pray that the voters remember this and vote them out for treason. I only know one thing for sure. It is better to die a few years early as a free man than to be a slave of the government. And that is exactly what Kanjorski and Carney have voted to make me. A slave. Unbelievable. Once again, Congressman Carney broke his vow to defend the U.S. Constitution. And both him and his fellow Democrat um, should be voted out. Here's a list of all the people who should be voted the hell out of Congress. There they are. Let's take a look at them. Press pause anytime you want to stop and see any of these people. But they are the ones who are willing to sell you out, sell out your rights as a human being, to make you a slave, to make you a slave regardless of your strategy of staying healthy. The whole the whole um, mentality is that if you get sick, you're going to end up in the, in the um, emergency room and... And, and not pay for it. I have assets. I'll pay for what I what I get. And I will put my money away. And if I get something serious, guess what? Just like everybody else, we're all going to die. That's the way it goes. And it happens. And you can delay it. But I tell you what, I'd rather give up a few years of my life and live as a free man, as I choose to be, than to be used and a tool of the insurance companies and to create more federal jobs. That's just what this country needs, is more federal jobs to run another insurance company. Just what we need. More pensions to pay. This is unbelievable. You talk about the demise of the United States. We are going down the tubes. And he uses the same, Obama uses the same thing over and over and over again. Everything's part of the... Of, of the um, the recovery it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter how tangential it is. That's all he has to say. And his his wackos, his freak, his freak show of of all his appointees and all his czars. I mean, this is unbelievable. God bless people like Glenn Beck and um, and Lou Dobbs and uh, old Rush Rushbo and Sean Hannity and and uh, Mark Levine and. And um, Michael Savage, they're all trying to tell you something. They're not all whack jobs. This is unbelievable.
believable, and the media doesn't say a damn thing. They don't talk about the big lie of Obama. When he said on TV, you, you just heard it, that the big difference between, the biggest difference between me and Hillary is that she's for mandatory health insurance and I'm not. I mean, what more do you have to say? He got elected on this lie, and now he's forcing us to have mandatory health insurance. Do you think that I would not have, I would not have um, spent more money of whatever little I have to defeat that SOB? Do you think the American public uh, would have let him get in if, if, in fact, he was able to get away with that lie, if we knew how he was lying, and Nancy Pelosi? Oh. Anyhow, this is un, unbelievable and we're letting the whole country slip between our fingers. Our our four founders would would turn in their graves if they saw what was going on with these people. You know, it, you know, if we're going to go socialistic or communistic, hey, if that's what the people want, fine. But be honest about it. They're using the same same tactics, same tactics. It's been a good run. I'm glad I'm 61 because basically I I know that the kids today don't have a future. They just don't have a future. They've been dumbed down. And they take this stuff, they're worried about being politically uh, correct. It is truly, truly disgusting. Is, is that if we make it affordable, if we provide subsidies who, to those who can't afford it, they will buy it. Uh, uh, Senator Clinton has a different approach. She believes that we have to uh, force people who don't have health insurance to buy it. The last point I want to make... Uh, Congressman Chris Carney went along with this lie and voted with the liar, Obama. We must contact your senators and make them put a stop to this. We must tell them that this is unconstitutional and they are just supporting a lie. Chris Carney, you're no good. You're just no damn good.